only serves as a natural habitat for thousands of sea life, it also helps bring lots of money to South Florida. Miami-Dade County is right now behind a study looking into the economic impact of Biscayne Bay. Local 10's Hatzabella is live at Port Miami with what researchers found out. Hatzel. Louis Janice, I should tell you that 2005 was the last time we had a similar report. This time, this new report also includes how Biscayne Bay impacts real estate. An astounding economic impact. When it comes to overall impact, the new study found Biscayne Bay contributes $64 billion to the local economy, close to half a million jobs, and $4 billion in tax revenues for the county. The Bay's economic impact is significant because the report says it makes up close to 20% of the county's economy. Most of that money comes from port activity. It's an environmental jewel, but it's also an economic powerhouse. And tying those two together, I think, is the most important component for making people realize how important it is to invest in the resilience. We learned Biscayne Bay contributes $8 billion to property values and attracts close to 120 million residents and visitors. Given its economic significance, a lot of concern over the health of the bay. We continue to face ecological challenges caused by runoff, septic systems, aging infrastructure, and litter. Does anyone have any idea what this is? Just over the weekend, uproar on social media after Wong and Dave posted video of what could be construction debris quickly spreading into Biscayne Bay in the Edgewater neighborhood. It's still under investigation and it could be a combination of sources. We've seen these environmental screw-ups time and time again, and it comes on the heels of a grand jury report from August of 2019, which sounded the alarm warning Biscayne Bay is at a tipping point and that the declining quality of water may become irreversible. In July of last year, the county commission passed stiffer penalties for those caught dumping into the bay. And so the county has several ways that you can report if you find anybody illegally dumping stuff into the bay. All those resources you can find on local10.com. By the way, we've also posted the entire report there for you as well. For now, reporting from downtown Miami, I'm Hatsopala, Local 10 News. Hatsopala, thank you.